Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the doll queen. Welcome back to my channel. And so today we're continuing our little color rankings. Um, and today is blue. There's a lot of blue, just like there was a lot of pink. Um, and uh, just like usual, we only keep it with the G1. We don't, and we, it's, this is everything before the slime dolls. Everything. So further ado let's just get into the shit so in 20th we have oliver ocean from uh shadow high series 3 i think i think it was an attempt because i like his uh his different unique long hair um but his outfit is just so basic and then his shoes are just plain white i don't think there's any painted detail at all um yeah just a lot of a lot of boringness when it comes to his outfit and then his face to me, like something is funky about his face. Like it looks ugly. Like it looks but ugly to me. But you know, that's just me. If you like him, good for you. But he's just like boring, boring outfit, ugly face, disaster. And in 19th, we have Eliza McPhee from a costume ball. Another Shadow High one. Um, they just, they really fucked up with this bitch because... I love her earrings with the little elf ears on it. They're just not tight enough on the ear to make it work. Um, and then I like her dress. I think it's cute. Um, and then I like uh, her wings. Her wings are cool. But then we move on to her shoes. They're just really chunky and glittery and just meh. Uh, and then her skin is just super shimmery, which can work, but it just kind of looks like she's sweaty. And then uh, her face... I don't know what the fuck they did to her makeup, but it looks hideous. So she just, yeah, they dropped the ball on her. Um, I put, I personally put, uh, like, I took that outfit and put it on a Gabriella. Stunning, 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 stunning. So if you have Eliza and you don't really fuck with her, take that outfit, put it on Gabriella. So Eliza, you don't need her. You don't need her. And in eighteenth place, we have Junior High Skyler. Um. She's just fine. Her design is fine. She does what she needs to do. Um, the only thing I don't like is the random pops of orange and like the little like fish market tag that they put on her head. And then they also put on her shoes. I wish that they didn't put that there. Um, or at least made it another color. But she's fine. She's fine. She's serviceable. And in 17th place, we have... Uh, Miss Coco Vanderball. I almost called her Coco Montrese. Um, <laughs> another queen. So, uh, Coco, her face is really stunning in person. The stock photos don't do her justice. She is so pretty in person. And I really like the deep, like, vibrant blue that we got. Um, it's just, her. both her outfits are just horrendous. They're not cute at all. They're just, ugh, like, ugh. Um, I do like Coco's like racing jacket her motocross jacket that's cool everything else is ugly though and i like her hoops like if all i like are your hoops and a jacket you're fucked so i personally have sold my coco because of that because i didn't really have anything else to put her in and i didn't really feel like keeping her so oh well and in 16th we have dream and design skylar um she has fierce makeup like that is such cool makeup um, she just suffers from being a playset doll because of that hairstyle is just, eh. Um, and then her outfit, I love the bodysuit. Um, and then her skirt is interesting. And then her shoes are fine. So, yeah. Again, just a serviceable doll. All right. And in 15th place, we have Budget Gabriella. Um, yeah, we are putting a budget doll like this high but i just really like her like her they gave her softer makeup so gorgeous and then her skirt is fine um and then her like sleeveless turtleneck is actually pretty cute um and then her shoes are cute like they just she's pretty good she's one of the better budget dolls so slay to her and in 14th place we have cheer skylar um, she's one of the most boring of the cheer line. Like, she's, she's fine. I like her, uh, her rap for the, 
like jacket around the waist. I think that's really cute. Um, but everything else, she's just like kind of boring to me. She doesn't like invoke any excitement, which sucks. Um, but yeah, again, she's serviceable. Uh, but at least this time, I think she's cuter than like all the ones below her. And in 13th, we have Holly Devious, the inferior one of the two twins. Um, I think the outfits are a little ridiculous, a little over the top, but so is their personality. So it, like, it works. Not my favorite outfit, but it works. Um, and I like the black accent color rather than the white accent color that Laurel got more. So yeah, I like that about her. And then her hair blend is really pretty. I love the like teal and dark green that she got. Super pretty. The only thing I don't like is that they gave her yellow in her makeup and they gave her red lips. Red. She's supposed to be cool colored. Don't give her red lips. It fucking ruined it. And in 12th, we have Kim Nguyen. I actually don't have her, but I think she's, when she's good, she's good. Because, um... I really like her dark hair, and then she really reminds me of, like, Lan Action Cleo. Her brows are cool, how they're, like, dark blue. And then I think her dress and jacket combo work. And is it the most interesting? No. But denim outfits that we've seen from Skylar aren't really that interesting from the Rainbow High design team. So, yeah. The, the biggest disappointments are her um shoes. She, she needed, like some tall boots or something to cover up more of that leg. Uh, and then her uh, bangs, how they cut them, horrendous. It leaves a little gap in between the um, hairline and the rest of the hair. Like, it's so bad. And then not only that, but all the bangs that I've ever seen on this doll, horrendous. Flying everywhere, just not laying down properly. Like, ugh, just because of that, she got bumped down this low. And in 11th, a little controversial opinion, but I'm putting River there. Because um, I just, I like his color. I like his hat. I like all of his pieces. They're extremely well made. Like, if you look at his pieces on their own with, like, the ripped jeans, which I love the ripped jeans. And then you see his cool shoes and, like, his Letterman jacket with, like, the pleather and all the embroidery. You're like, wow, that's really, really well made. But then you look at his face and they gave him the super wide eyes, which his prototype did not have, and that just killed it. The wide eyes is what's holding him back from his fullest potential, which luckily his other doll did make up for. Um, but yeah, that's why he's here. Breaking into our top 10, we have Winter Break Skylar. Um, I think she's super cute. The beanie, a little basic from Winter Break, but cute. I love, 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 love her hair. This is, I think, my favorite Skylar hair with how the big bouncy curls. Yes, everything. The makeup could be better, but again, as Skylar does, serviceable. I love the jumpsuit. That's super cute. Uh, the coat is okay. Um, and then her second outfit, I love those jeans. The hoodie, again, okay. But then the fur coat, amazing. And then the ice skate high heels, so camp but I love it. So yeah, they just, they did a really good job with Skylar this time around and turned her into something interesting and didn't rely on denim, which is why she's able to flourish so much. In ninth place, we have junior high Holly, which this time she beat her sister because look at her. Again, I love the black as the accent color. She has the black shirt and the black thigh high socks. Adorable. Then the silver shoes, yes. And then again, I love the teal and the green in her hair. And this time, her lips are purple. So they gave her like this magenta -y, like purple-y lips. Super cute. Like, oh, she's such a cutie pie. And um, with her having bangs, I actually gave my regular Skylar bangs before, or not Skylar, my regular Holly bangs before this Holly came out. So I think they copied me. Not really, but yeah, she just looks so good with bangs as well. And in eighth place, we have Blue Brooks. Um, I actually don't have this doll and she's this high and I want her. 
It's just on Amazon currently, she's like $32, which is absurd. So I will be waiting for her price to go down, but I would like her um, because I love her socks. I love her Converse, their platform Converse 2, which is like fucking yes. Um, And then I love her striped socks. I love her color being like this bright teal. Yes. And it's like greener teal than what we have gotten with like other dolls. Um, and then I love her curtain bangs. I love that she uses the twin sculpt. So I would just, I would love to have her, but she never appeared in stores and her price is absurd. So I will just have to wait. The only drawback that she has is the overall dress, which I don't know. I can see if I can have other outfits for her, but I think she's thicker than everyone else. So I don't know. We'll have to see, but I hope that I can help her because also the cast and the skateboard and the headphones, I need her, Miguel. I need her. And in seventh, we have Miss Robin Sterling from the Slumber Party line. I think she's cool. Um, I love her, like, light greenish blue hair. Like, it's, uh, like, Tiffany blue. Like, it's such a cute color. Um, I love it. I guess at least, bleh, <laughs> especially against her, like, super dark, rich skin. It just had such a nice contrast. And then this outfit that she's in... Even I like her other outfit, too, with, like, the the flocking on her shoes and, like, all the fur trims and stuff. It's just so elegant and just so, mm, just so, oh, uh, it's everything. And I love her Ariana Grande high ponytail. Like, she's serving, and I love it. She's g- gonna keep serving. And in six, we have Junior High River. Like I said, it's just his face that was the problem the first time around. So this time around, they shrunk his eyeball size down, and it works. Like, he looks so good. And oddly enough, he now looks older than his older version of himself, which is weird. Um, but it's whatever. Uh, his beanie's cute. I love that he got the little AirPods. And then he has I think my favorite male hairstyle that they gave, which is a little center part. So cute. Uh, and then the baseball tee with the embroidery, super cute. And then I love the pants, love the shoes, just overall slay. He's just such a cool boy doll. And now going into our top five, we have Fantastic Fashion Skylar. I like just opened her and I instantly fell in love. Like again, big bouncy curls for Skylar, which is great. Not as bouncy as we got for winter break, but still we got some good curls going on. Her makeup is so, like, dark, but so pretty. And then she also has, like, the cool, like, straight brows. I don't know. Cool would be the right descriptor, but, you know. Um, And then her dress is so detailed and stunning. It is denim, but this is the best use of denim from Skylar. Well, second best use of denim from Skylar that we've seen. And we get all these little crystals on there that don't fall off. Um, And it's just, it's so great. I love 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 the dress with the pockets and stuff the shoes they're boring as hell but they're hidden so it doesn't really matter um my only complaint is that her little hair clips are a pain in the ass to get in and out and when they are in sometimes they don't even stay in so yeah I kind of wish they used the little like regular type of hair clip that we see from dolls just because this one is a little a little bit of a frustration and in fourth place, we have Costume Ball Robin. Just look at her. The Spider Queen. The makeup is sick. I love the brown lip on her. The hair is some of the most intricate hair that we've ever gotten from Rainbow High with the eight twists going on to look like the spider legs. The crown is yes, even though the crown doesn't really stay on the head, unfortunately. But I still really love the tiara. And then her dress is everything of how it's like, with the hoop and these two pieces, and then it has the whole spider web thing going on with the spiders on it and the sequins. And then the shoes are like a uh, spider web wrapping around, and then there's spiders on the heels. Like they just, they really knocked it out of the park with her. Like she looks so good and so cool too. Cause I just, I love Halloween. And she just, she did it. She did it. And in third, we have our series one Skylar. Um, obviously this is not the best mug that she's ever gotten. Uh, like a lot of other Skylers have had better mugs, but, uh, what really, really helps this doll is 
her outfits or at least her first outfit i just i love the chunky heel or the tennis shoes so so much and then i love all of the usage of the different variations of denim and how we have the bustier and the uh, jacket and the skirt like it just I don't know why like it's so simple but it just works so fucking well to me and it's just so cute and I love it I just I love this outfit on her I love like just everything about her if we put like dream and design Skylar fantastic fashion Skylar some some other like really cool makeup Skylar in this fit perfect and she just looks so cool so yeah uh I, pr- I definitely like her more than I probably should. And in second, from series three, we have Gabriella Isley. I really like her a lot. Like, I love her face up with the, all the glitter and the makeup, and it's just so pretty. Um, the budget doll, I like. I think I like her face more in the budget doll, but this one is still really pretty. I love the safety pin hair clips. It actually really ties the look together. Um, and then the sweater, adorable. The skirt with all the charms on it, again, adorable. And then I just the boots it's just very 90s and i love it a lot and then her second outfit is also so sick i love her like snakeskin jacket with all the lacing cool and then her like cool dress with like little cinching on it and then the heels like they're just both of her outfits are just so slay and then it's such a pretty blue too so yeah she just yeah 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 she did it no my number one i know is controversial but it's Miss Halle Capri. Um, I love this aquamarine color. It's super pretty. She used the Daphne sculpt. Gorgeous. Um, and then I love the lip liner that she got. But most of all, I'm in love with her outfit. The whole visor with the little tie around. So cute. She has my favorite bathing suit. Actually, Margot has a really cute bathing suit too. But I think this is still my favorite bathing suit from Pacific Coast. With the little like wraparound. And then she's got, like, the dangles and then the bows on the side. And then those sick-ass board shorts. I love them. I love her shorts so much. And then she got flip-flops, which is a yes. Uh, I think all of them should have gotten, like, some sort of flip-flop instead of the heels. But that's just me. Uh, And she's just... She's so cute. I love her. I love Pacific Coast so, so much. One of my favorite lines from Rainbow High to this day. Just... I love everything about it, and I just really love her color that much. Um, so, yeah. No, that's a little controversial, but Miss Hallie is for me. Um, and that will be it for this little ranking, obviously. Um, if you have different opinions, like, please let me know. I love to hear them. Um, and uh, see us. See me next week where we cover purple. Um, and for Mirroring Supreme, I grant you wonderful, glorious, fantabulous day. Toodles.